Hi there, this is Lynn Allen. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. Today I'm going to share with you a tip that has to do with revision clouds. Now, we've been able to put revision clouds, also known as Rev clouds, in AutoCAD for quite some time. It started out as an express tool, the Rev cloud command, and then it grew up and became a real live AutoCAD command. But it was always kind of difficult to work with, especially when it came to editing. Whenever you went to go to modify any of those arcs, it kind of got all wonky. I'm pretty sure that's a technical AutoCAD term, all wonky. <laughs> Pulled out all crazy, it was difficult to control. Usually you ended up erasing it and starting all over again. So let me show you the new updated revision clouds, okay? Enough talk, let's take a look. So if you go to the annotate tab on the ribbon, you will see revision clouds, same place it was before, but let's take a look at the new updated version. I'm gonna go ahead and pick rectangular. I'm gonna go ahead and just draw a rectangular revision cloud, no surprise. This probably feels a lot like it used to, but what doesn't feel like it used to is if I select it, you'll see there's only a few grips on it and it is very easy to control it as opposed to before. And we'll take a look at the way it was before, just in case you don't remember. <laughs> How could you forget? <laughs> okay. So that's rectangular, let's do another one. Let's do polygonal. Pretty straightforward, you know, you just can put many more vertices in there. Whatever makes you happy. When you're finished, you hit that extra enter. All right, so that's pretty straightforward. That's not hard to figure out at all. You guys can figure that totally out without me. No worries. And once again, let me just click on there so you can see very few grips, very easy to manipulate and modify to get the, the edits that you really want from this revision cloud. Right, so what else can we do? Okay, so you can't do this from the pull down menu, but if you do go into the rev cloud command, you will see that there's an option for object. So if I wanna do a circular revision cloud or maybe an elliptical one, I can do object. I have to draw a circle first. So I have to work with an existing closed object and go ahead and select that. You'll see no problem. And once again, if I click on it, you'll see very few grips, very easy to work with, All right? No surprise. I can do the same thing with the ellipse. If you want me to do it again, I'll show you. <laughs> Whatever makes you happy. I'm gonna go ahead and select that and you'll see once again it turns it into Revision Cloud. Now, the biggest wish list request by far was the ability to put more than one Revision Cloud together. So wish granted inside of AutoCAD 2016, they gave you an additional option where you could basically add two together. Now this is how it's done because I don't think it's very obvious how you would do it. There's an option in the Rev Cloud command called Modify. Not the first one I would think of when I wanted to add more than one Revision Cloud together. So I'm gonna say modify, I'm gonna select the revision cloud I wanna work from, maybe like right there, and you will see it will start to draw a revision cloud from the place I select the object, from the place I select the, re the revision cloud. It's hard to say. <laughs> so now, as I continue to draw, when I go back to the revision cloud that I selected, I can go ahead and pick on there and now it's gonna ask me, which, what do I wanna delete really? Do I, I wanna delete that outside part or that inside part? It's pretty straightforward, it's very visual. I can go ahead and I can select the inside part and it actually puts two revision clouds together. So big wish list request, wish granted. All right, and you'll, it'll always ask you what direction you want the revision cloud to go. I just keep hitting, you know, I don't need to, to reverse the direction if I said yes you would see that it, it puts the arcs on the inside. I'm not really sure why you would want that, but if you do, it's an option for you. I usually just use the default of no, don't reverse the direction because that is what most revision clouds look like. All right, no. There is a system variable, of course, because we don't quite have enough system variables called rev cloud grips. It is set to on. That means I only have a limited number of grips for the revision cloud. It's the new updated revision cloud. If I turn that off, take a look. If I select this revision cloud, look at all the grips. Lots and lots of grips. So now if I try to edit it, it gets all wonky, <laughs> wonked out. <laughs> that well-known technical term, it's hard to work with. Any of these is gonna have a bunch of grips. Like I said, these guys too, everybody goes back. So it's, it's, you know, it's, it's you know, on or off. So if you turn it back on, it will go back to normal. So it's easy to control, which is good. That's Rev Cloud Grips. All right, hey, thank you so much for joining me for this tip, this AutoCAD tip on Revision Clouds. Give them a try. You're going to love them. And I'm going to see you back here in two more weeks.